welcome students in this video i am going to explain motion in one dimension to learn motion in one dimension first we must know some terms related to it so let us start the first term we will learn that is physical quantity physical quantities what are physical quantities the quantities which can be the quantities which can be measured are known as physical quantities we can also say that the quantities which can be measured which can be defined and are used to or in terms of which the laws of physics are described are known as physical quantities so three terms it can be the quantities which can be defined the quantities which can be measured and the quantities in terms of which the laws of physics are described are known as physical quantities and in very simple we will say that the quantities which can be measured are known as physical quantities these physical quantities can be classified in two categories the first one is known as scalar quantity and second one is known as vector quantity so we can classify this in two categories the first one is known as scalar and second one is known as vector quantity now let us learn what are scalar quantities the physic those physical quantities which having only magnitude are known as scalar quantities for example mass distance speed uh, time temperature pressure etc these all are scalar quantities to express a scalar quantity completely we requires or we have to see two parameters they are the first one is the numerical value and second one is the unit the unit uh, in which that physical quantity is measured for example if i am telling a mass of 5 kg so 5 is the numerical value and kg is the unit so to express a physical quantity completely we requires two parameter numerical value and their unit or the unit in terms of which that physical quantity is measured we can represent a scalar quantity by english letters like mass can be represented by small m uh, time can be represented by t so these all are about scalar quantities one more thing the scalar quantities with same units can be added subtracted multiplied or divided using simple algebra or arithmetic methods now let us learn about vector quantities the quantities the physic those physical quantities which having magnitude as well as direction are known as vector quantities for example displacement velocity acceleration uh, force torque so these all are vector quantities as i said scalar quantities can be expressed by two parameters numerical value and unit similarly vector quantities require one more parameter that is direction so in these three parameters are required numerical value unit in terms of which that physical quantity will be measured and third one is direction as i said 
Scalar quantities can be added, subtracted, multiplied, divide using simple algebra or arithmetic method. But the vector we can't add like that. We requires vector algebra. That means different method. We can't add simply like a scalar. Now we will see representation of vector. A vector can be represented by English letter with an arrow over them like velocity if i am representing so velocity v and over it one arrow sign if we will write velocity v vector we will read, read as a v vector uh, vector v and if minus sign so this minus sign indicates that it is the opposite of this velocity so direction reverses with the sign negative if negative sign we are using means direction will be reverse so this this is all about scalar and vector so let us differentiate between scalar quantity and vector quantities first difference scalar quantity is having only magnitude vector quantity is having magnitude as well as direction scalar quantities can be changed with the change of magnitude only Vector quantities can be changed with the change in magnitude or with the change in direction or with the change in magnitude and direction both. Vector quantities can be added, subtracted by using simple uh, algebra or using arithmetic methods. But vector quantities we can't add using simple algebra scalar quantities uh, we have just seen three difference the fourth difference is scalar quantities can be represented with english letter vector quantities can be represented with english letter with arrow over them so these are the difference between scalar and vector let us learn the next term the next term is rest and motion so let us define what is rest and motion rest and motion a body is a body is said to be in rest if it does not change its position with respect to its surrounding with the passage of time like a book kept on a table Similarly, we can define motion. A body is said to be in motion if it changes its position with respect to its surrounding with the passage of time. These rest and motion are relative terms. A body will be not in absolute rest. For example, if uh, if some passengers are moving in a bus. the passengers are in rest with respect to each other because they are not changing their position as they are sitting on their on chairs so they are not changing their position with respect to other passengers so they are in rest and if we will compare the same passengers with outside the bus then we will find that they are in motion so rest and motion are called relative terms now next term which is which we have to study that is motion in one dimension so what is motion in one dimension a body is said to be in one dimensional motion if it travels along a straight path if it travels along a straight path like a train moving on a straight track or if a football is kept and we are applying force it starts moving in a straight path such motion is called one dimensional motion or uh, linear motion or translatory motion so this is the one dimensional motion one dimensional motion can be specified only by knowing one coordinates for this let us see representation suppose this is the origin origin means a starting point the body starts and it moves along the positive x axis suppose it is the timing 1 1 second 2 second 3 second 4 second 
and distance traveled 10 meter 20 meter 30 meter 40 meter and so on so if anyone will ask what is the position of the body at the 3 second so we can say that 30 meter so only one coordinate x coordinate if we are knowing we can uh, explain its motion so one dimensional motion is a motion which can be specified knowing only one coordinate in next video i will explain about distance displacement speed velocity their types and acceleration and retardation thank you students thank you for watching